Hey there everybody, welcome to another Hell Hasbro Reviews. This is your boy Deluxe. How you doing? Alright. Alright, today I got in a little special short little review of um, Gnaw, also known as the Sharkticon. Uh, this is the new Legends uh, series for Titans Returns. And um, he's one that a lot of people have been looking forward to because he's a troop builder. Anyway, so I'll get to him. Uh, first we'll go, comes with a little Titan Return car, which is cool artwork. I like that. And there's his little text specs if you want to look at that. Pretty strong for a little fella. Hmm. Alright, there's that. Uh, here's his, uh, also his car. Um, if you want to read his, uh, okay. sorry about that. If you want to read that. And there he is. Right. Cool. Get rid of that. And. Here is no. We'll talk about he comes with an accessory. His tail, also known as a little whip. Solid uh plastic, nothing else, nothing. A little detail holes in there. Uh, a little aqua blue going on, which is cool, matches everything else. So that's cool. So that's it, and here's he is. So yeah, there he is. He's got some uh painter eyes or red, which would look really good. He's got some paint right here and right here. A little Decepticon symbol right there. Uh, he's got some purple right there which is good. Pink right here and he's got a little some uh, aqua blue down there. And he's got some purple right here and he's got the translucent eyes which are green. Which are good. And greenish yellow. Probably yellow probably. <laughs> Get to it. So yeah I mean he's got some good paint to him. Wherever it is, is wherever it's applied to you know it is uh, it's pretty it's really good. It breaks up you know uh, not really anything really here but you know the blue and the Silver, you know, break up and everything. So everything, you know, usually it's breaking, you know, it's broke up, you know, the plane of everything. So it looks really good. It's got a little fin tail right there. So yeah, uh, his head does move side to side. Um, it doesn't move up. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Because of transformation, you can you know, move a little bit down, and you can move it up a little bit. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it doesn't break it up real bad, but uh, that's, that's, you know, I'll give him that. It's pretty cool. And this does move up a little down. If you want to do anything like that. Um, the arms, really, on uh, all ball, uh, ball joints. So they go up to there. Um, bicep swivel, also. Uh, nothing for the hands, 5mm pegs, it's like uh, usual. Um, no uh, waist swivel at all. Um, it does have ball joints for the hips, so you can get the band down all the way. So that's cool. And it goes up to here. And back right there, everything. And then you got these. Uh, they're a little ugly, but they got the hands, you know, standing on the side like that. Would have been cool if maybe they could collapse or something, or put a hinge or something around there, and they could have maybe collapsed more in the back, but they didn't. So um, you can get, you know, you can move the knee about pretty far. Um, you have to, you can move these. Uh, this face plate right there, you can move out of the way. So not bad. Uh, nothing for the toes or anything, but yeah, um, looks like a. Would've been cool if they made like open up his mouth or whatever. Yeah, but cool. Anyway, yeah, you can these can move however you want. Well, not however you want, but you know, right there. So just rare coming at you. So yeah, um, not bad for possibility for a Legends figure. I mean, not at all. It's pretty good. Oh, um, his are also on like a. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Bobby B probably knows, but it's like it's on a hinge or something like that or a universal joint I don't know but anyway I guess I need to learn that stuff while doing reviews anyways but yeah you can get him down look a little bit so he kinda got the droopy arm and then that uh, there's a little slightly right here too also his paw or his foot for the uh, Sharticon mode you know it's on there but I like you know when, it, when you transform it it looks pretty cool and it's not bad no, it's not hateful for a Legends figure you know but anyways so um We'll do some size comparisons. Stay there. There you go. We'll bring in uh, this G1 counterpoint. If I can get him to stand up. So that's the G1 size one. And we'll just throw in Optimus Prime Classics version. He's a little taller. I think. So, you know, he's a Legends figure. 
Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna try to transform this little guy. It's not hard. Move this little fin back. Be able to see this. Sorry. I'm just coming off a cold too. I'm sorry. I have a been a little sick. So these just stay down. You can turn these around. Little feet he's going. And you move these over there and fold this back. Now they do, they do come right there, they do attack, you know, they do right there. And these will, well, I say that, but then it never works. So these go together, and that goes together, and there's two things right there, and they will supposedly you get it right, collapse in there, and go in right there. Are you gonna go in for me or not? <laughs> That's what she said. There we go. So they collapse in there, and then try to close it as much as you can. There's a little gap in there, really unsightly. So that goes right there. Get the feet, and then you take this little part right here, and it goes down in here. The former's little tail, and there's no. He's a shark one. Mm -hmm. So there he is. So yeah, the purple comes out, the yellow like that. Uh, so yeah, it's got the little light popping, so if you put some light on there, and grrr, and he does move his jaws, and you can see his head. I think you, just, you can move his head where it won't show up, but I just didn't do it. But you can move it where it won't show up. So his arms do move up and down, and he does go with the little rawr, rawr, rawr. And this does move up and down too. So, you almost can close them, but not all the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they stand together. So there you go. Err. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do some uh, size comparisons with uh, so nothing really else. Just don't move. Which would be a move. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's about all the movement you get is for the feet and all that stuff. It's for the teeth. I wish they painted the teeth. That would have been pretty cool if they did them like silver or something. That would have been pretty neat. I didn't. Yeah, what do you expect for a ten dollar toy? You know. Yeah. Okay. And here he is with the the G one comparison. There he is with that. So he play, he stays true to the G one form. I like that. You know, with the little tail. You know, the eyes. You know, and the teeth. Like I said, I wish they would have painted those silver. That would have been cool. But you know, you got that gir, um arm and everything. So it's a great, you know, great G one, you know, kind of part too. I like that. A little small, you know, I wish they might have done deluxe, but, you know, I like them as legends, and they'll be cheap to, you know, to, um, troop build and everything. So, also, I want to put in the, um, third-party ones. Here is, um, the eye gear ones. The longer faces. And, I like, and then I got the UT one also, the unique toys. I, I myself, prefer to, I like the eye gear ones, but I like the, the overall shape of the, um, uh, unique toys ones a little rounder um i don't like the longer faces but because it stays you know these are the rounder faces or things so yeah there they are all together a little shark uh army they get more of those wouldn't mind finding some g ones off anyways uh let me uh put these away Okay, well, I love this guy. I love this little guy. Shout out to the Shark Nation, Emily, you know what I'm talking about. Um, she loves shark guns and sharks and everything. I do too. These, these are cool. Uh, these are a little fun little figures for 10 bucks. Uh, the playability is cool. You can true build them. You can get a couple of them. I hope to get about two more and, um, you know, add on maybe two or three more. I don't know. 
but you know they're just a neat little figure and you know he's got good paint on him uh good posability you know for a little legends figure um i definitely give him a nine hell house bros out of ten um you know he's a perfect you know not perfect but he's a great little figure i definitely pick him up um i don't think they showed up on the stores yet but uh definitely be on the lookout for these and everything so if you want to build a little sharpton army if you like the sharpton or you like no definitely pick it up and plus you know i see you okay anyways um i'm gonna do some floor time a little bit with him i don't know what i can do but we'll try we'll, we'll think of something on the way down all right i'll see y'all in a minute daddy daddy tell me where little shark decons come from uh uh where's your mother uh, i don't know they're outside catching fish and energon all that good stuff um well i don't think that's a question i should be answering well who would answer it i don't know <laughs> okay well anyways um daddy i love you that's stupid. <laughs> I can't think of anything funny to say about the shark guns. I don't know. Arr! Grr! 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 Arr! Raw. I wish I had the uh, flat flame thing. I think uh, Giga Power does the flame, I think, has that coming out of his mouth. That'd be pretty cool. Fancy how did it. Anyways. Oh, that's cool. Hope y'all got this. I got it in stomp too, man. He's awesome. Can't wait to try, uh, mess around with him some more. Anyways. Alright. Well, couldn't think of anything funny to say about floor, for Shark Cons. Sorry about the crappy floor time. But anyways, definitely um, go out there and, um, you know, the positives, you know, they, it, they're they fun little neat little things. Good paint for everything. Uh, you know, the high ends are kind of a sight, you know, ugly sight right there. As hill spurs, you know. Um, that's got a little hollowness on the weapon. Other than that, it's not really any hollow, so it's not that bad. Definitely worth a pickup. Uh, nine Hell Hasbro's definitely out of ten. Um, so yeah, definitely go try to pick them up. And uh, anyways, thank you as always. Um, uh, if I don't do another review, um, Happy New Year to everybody. I uh, hope everybody has a, a great 2017. If you didn't have a 2016, that was good. Um, and, uh, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher, um, she passed away, uh, a lot of people are upset, and, uh, it's, she's gonna be missed, so, uh, anyways, thank y'all for, uh, watching my review, hope y'all liked it, um, and I look forward to doing many more next year, I uh, love you guys, and, and girls, and, uh, as always, hail Hasbro, and, uh, good night, folks. Arr, arr.